Welcome back. In the previous lesson, we have successfully published our agent, which is Vedic Skill Help Desk. Now, in this lesson, we are going to see for a given published agent, let's see our demo website. At the same time, let's try to integrate to our web app. Okay, so before moving into the demo websites or the web app, so one thing you need to do in the changes to our agent. For that, what you have to do, particularly in order to get the demo website or a integrator or web app, you need to change the authentication settings. For that, you need to go to the settings. And in the settings, you need to go to the security. In the security, you need to click on this authentication. And there you can see the different types of authentication that was there. By default, the authentication that you generally see is the authenticate with Microsoft. And you need to change this authenticate to the no authentication. Okay, so once you make sure that the authentication is a no authentication, which means that our agent is available in public, anyone with a given URL or some kind of API can able to access Copilot agent and it doesn't require any kind of a authentication. So that's what we need because we want to put our agent in public in some kind of a websites or demo websites or in web apps. Once you're done, now let's close this. And after that, what you need to do is you need to click on publish. Click on publish and publish the agent. It will take a while and click on publish again. All right, so once the agent is published, now you can see that your user will see the content new soon. And if you see this message, something like this, then you have successfully published your agent. And now probably you might see some kind of a message saying that published by the Vedic skill support and one risk, this is because we make the authentication as public. That's the reason this message is came here. You can ignore for now. And the next step is now let's try to see our demo website or web, our agent, whatever we have created in the public. In order to first, first what we can see is that just click on the demo website. And uh, this is the demo website that whatever you are having. And uh, you can enter the, some kind of a welcome message, some conversation starters and etc. whatever you have want. You can keep this and below, this is the important for us. And this is the URL that you need to share with anyone. So anyone provided this, you can share this URL. Can, anyone can able to access our agent and start using it. Let me copy this and click on save. Let me close this. Now go to a new tab. And paste the URL here. Okay. Here we go. This is what the demo website with the Microsoft Power Platform. And this is the Vedic Skill Help Desk. And this is my beautiful chatbot. And what we can do is that you can ask some questions like where are you located? Of course, the where are located, of course, I'm referring to the Vedic Skill Help Desk. It's supposed to go to um, the documentation page. And here we go. This is what Vedic Skill is based on online about the roots are in Hyderabad. That's correct. So what are the courses that you offer? Probably it might give you the list of courses or some courses that topics on which it's going to offer. And again, for reference, it given us the documentation, something like this. Cool, this is really great, right? Now, one of the beauty of Microsoft Copilot Studio is it's not only we can integrate to the demo websites, you can integrate this particular agent even to your own websites. For example, let's go to my website, which is vedicskill.com. And I recently added this agent to my website. Here you can see in the website there, I can have some button with me. If I click on this button, 
and the Copilot Studio is getting started. And here you go. This is what it means. The Vedic Skill Help Desk. And now I can ask the what are the questions I want. For example, um, where are where is Vedic Skill located? And I'll probably it will give me the answer with reference to yes. This is the Vedic Skill is based on online with the roots in Hyderabad. Let's say how can I enroll to your courses some of the questions i can ask nice and of course all our courses are there in udemy you can actually use the udemy and uh, enroll to our courses that's what it's saying that's that's super cool right the main thing i want you to understand is that you can also integrate this agent to any kind of a public websites too in order to do this, you need to go to the corporate studio. And just now we have seen the demo website. And in order to integrate to any kind of external websites with you, then this is the other channels is what you need to see. And there you need to click on the web app. Click on this web app. And here you can see the documentation. And here it shows you the two ways to add the agent to your web app. One is you can use the embed code. And you can directly copy this code and paste it into your source code and this will work or you can also use the microsoft 365 agent sdk and here is the connecting string is there using which you can connect our agent to the web app so what i'll do is that the first one is the easiest method for me let me use this method i'll show you how to integrate or how to connect this code to our web app for now what i'll do let me take the basicskill.com which is our website and i'm having the source code with me so let me copy and paste this code and show you how we can integrate it for that let me copy this and uh, go to the source code all right so this is a source code of the vedic skill help desk that i'm having with me so what i'll do let me run it in local and this is the local website and here you can see it was running in the local host let me close this and this is the local host and here i don't have any agent that is running here right now what i'll do is that let me use this code and paste this code in my source code so that i'll show you how exactly the agent will come up for the sake of simplicity, let me first place the agent somewhere in the page. For example, after the section, after the home page section, there is something like why choose the project based learning. Around this particular place, I want to place my copilot agent. Okay. For that, what I'll do is that let me go to my home page and uh, I'll want to place after the Let's say after this, so yeah, after my home page header, I want to place this iframe. So let me go to the code, and this is the code I am having with me. So what I'll do is that I already made some few adjustments in terms of styling and etc. And let me copy the same thing and paste it here. So some kind of a styling I have added, and all you need to do is that you need to make sure this iframe, the source URL, is same as this. Something like this is the source URL that we are using and the source URL should be same as this and rest all things is the styling which I used here. Now if everything is good you can save it and run the app and if I go to the local host and here you go after this section I can see the welcome to Vedic skill and here is the copilot assistant that's what I have written and this is what the Vedic skill help task is means. Cool. Now you can type the message hi, and in the back end, it's going to the Copilot Studio, and from there, it will fetch the information and give it to you here. And you can ask, you can ask what are the question you want. For example, what are the courses do you offer? And it's going to fetch it from the frequently asked questions, and once it is done, it will put that answer here something like this cool right so this is how you can also integrate to your website okay 
So again, it depends upon your styling. If at all you want to have the floating chart, you can also do this. So what I'll do is let me go to my code. This is the source code and let me remove this. Instead, I'm having the code, which is the floating code. Let me floating chat bot. Let me copy this and paste the code here. This is some kind of a framing which I did and also some kind of a styling. And um, most important thing is the iframe. Iframe will be still same and the, which is the what the backend and the source URL should be same as which is displayed in your Copilot Studio. Okay, make sure that this is the URL you have to set and then let me uh, save it and go to my page and refresh it. And here is the updated website for me. And here you can see there is a floating button. I can click on this floating button and this floating button will actually navigate to the Copilot Studio. And from there, the answer is being fetched. Cool. So now you can ask what are the questions and it'll definitely work. That's it. Once you make all the changes and you can deploy the source code to your host. So that something like this is my vedicskill.com and uh, which is what which I have integrated just now. And here you go. You can see that this is my chat button is there. I can click on this chat button and I can ask the question whatever I want and it will work for me. Cool, right? This is how we can deploy our Copilot agent to the web apps. Hope you enjoyed this. In the next lesson, we're going to talk more on this. Until then, happy learning.